controversial Detroit businessman waging a public war with Mayor Mike Duggan is now facing criminal charges. Seven investigator Ross Jones live in our newsroom with the latest in this strange saga. Ross. Linda Dave, Bob Carmack and Mayor Duggan have been battling it out for more than a month and today a county prosecutor entered the fray, leveling serious charges that could put Carmack in prison for years. It was less than a month ago Carmack called a press conference saying the city was coming after him and then he said this. I am afraid. I have, I have three kids to take care of. I'm a single father. Bob Carmack may not have reason to fear Mayor Mike Duggan, but the Genesee County prosecutor is another story. That's who charged him today with four felonies, all related to what Prosecutor David Layton's office says was an effort to defraud the city of Detroit. It's reviewed at the top levels of my office. We determined that there was probable cause that a crime had been committed. It all stems from a property on Melville Avenue in Detroit that Carmack says he was properly deeded by the city in 2007. He sold it in 2016 for a cool $1 million profit. But the city has long maintained that Carmack committed fraud in obtaining the property's deed and shouldn't have been able to sell it for a penny, let alone a million dollars. The Genesee County prosecutor is handling the case instead of Wayne County because of a conflict in their office. And we believe that the evidence will show Mr. Carmack, in fact, did not own the property that he sold to the other developer. Carmack has been embroiled in legal battles with the city dating back years. And last month, he launched a publicity tour meant to embarrass Mayor Duggan when he released video from a private investigator showing the mayor going to and from a home in Novi where another woman also lived. Bob Carmack is now threatening further embarrassment in my personal life in order to force me to take actions that are harmful to the citizens of the city of Detroit. Last month, Duggan asked Michigan State Police to investigate Carmack's threats against him. No charges to date have been filed in that case. Now I reached Bob Carmack by phone today. He had no comment on these charges, neither did his attorney. Carmack could be arraigned as soon as tomorrow. Live with the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you.